We did the Solent Swim this year because we were looking for a new challenge and um, we've done a few runs and we wanted to do something a bit different. Um, I think the swim I think was a little bit harder than I expected. I think because normally when you're swimming and training, you're used to just swimming up and down leisurely. You're not kind of like looking for a target. Go for it. Yeah, definitely, definitely do, do, it. do it. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to do it again. Yeah, yeah I think brilliant. I'll be doing it next year. Yeah. yeah. year we need to find £150,000 in order to keep the centre going. That's the gap between our operational um, income and our operational costs. So we have to do that from grants, fundraising, charity events and things like this. So the Solent Swim, this is its, we're in our ninth year and over those nine years we've raised £200,000. So it's a really important, it is the most important part of our fundraising calendar uh, and it's really essential money that we need for, to keep the centre going. I started training for this last September very carefully without telling anybody so I could just see if I was going to be the kind of thing I could do and I've gradually improved ever since then and yeah it's been good, brilliant. The event today was really well coordinated, well marshalled, well thought out, safety was a priority and that was made clear from uh, the, the outset of the event and it made everybody feel you know, really comfortable with uh, taking on a challenge like this. It's, it's, it's a fantastic uh, community centre um, and not only dealing with sport and such like but also um, you know, support for older people and all the little groups and meetings that go on there. It's just absolutely brilliant.